a set, usually there's three to a set, light, medium, and heavy, and you can just adjust as you feel need be, okay? So we're gonna do a few walkouts just to get started. And remember, do what you can with this routine. If it's not challenging enough, then find a way to add in some dumbbells before or after and do a few different movements. If you get done with this routine and you think I still have a little bit left in me, then go ahead and do your high intensity interval training routine or some core work. But you always want to make sure that when you're done working out, you really fatigue your body. Because otherwise, if it was just I mean, I don't want to say it's a waste of time, but you want to get the most out of your time. So, sometimes ending with a good strong 10 minutes will make it all worth your while. Okay, now we are going to do, actually before we do that, do a few four touches. Tilt the hips up, squeeze the glutes. And we're putting our feet in the cup. It's all part of the experience, my friends. Uh-huh. Four touches. She's got it. She's got it. Okay. All right. Now, go ahead and put your band on. Can you please, let's relocate you over here because Mommy's doing her workout for everyone. Okay. Now, we're going to put this on. Then you use that one. Okay? But we're not switching again because... You made your choice. All right. Again, with these routines, going barefoot is ideal. So you are going to have your band on right above the knees, and you are going to be holding the other band, and you're going to be holding it with a good amount of resistance. Every single time that you have these bands on, you want to focus on pushing your knees out throughout whatever you're doing because it's easy to let your knees buckle when you start getting fatigued. So no matter what movement we're doing, when, we're wearing, when we are wearing these, you wanna make sure to keep pushing against that band to really fatigue the area that we're working, okay? About shoulder width, with our stance, pushing the knees out, we're gonna start with pulse squats. So down, two, three, four, five, I was sitting back in the heels, Yeah. 
back like this and work your back muscles. It also allows you to really sit back on your heels by holding this band. For some of you beginners, that might not feel comfortable. Okay, one more. Okay, side to side jump squats. Woo! Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more. Keep going. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo, buddy. Slide it down real quick if you need to rest.
Let's do 25 of these. Give me three more. Three, two, and one. Okay, make sure you have a firm grip on these. We're going into jump squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Body weight, heels to toes. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, now you can put your band on medium resistance this time. The first set, I want you to try to use high or like the heaviest resistance. This, you're going to put medium. If you can do high, do high. All right, you're going to get down on the floor in the crab position, doing bridges, but I'll show you from the side first. So you're going to make sure that your knees are out, feet are wide, and we're just thrusting up pulses as you're pushing those knees out. If you start this set and you're like, that's way too easy, get the heavier. I'm back. You're back. Yes, I'm going to Good job. Yeah. Pulses, so don't drop those hips all the way. Really focus on pushing those knees out the entire time. So I give you six more. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the hips up. Out and in. No. Okay. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Just yeah. ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job, you guys. Take that off. Adjust the resistance the next round if you need to. And we're going to go right into those pull-throughs again. Now, yeah, back. you're back. Good job. Okay. I am going to try with my hands, actually holding the handle, I'll come at you in this angle. Okay, ready? Go. Squeeze that one. Two. Three, four. Really squeeze those glutes. Six. I can't do it. Seven. Eight. I'll help you in a second. Nine. Ten. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Do you want to take a nap? I can't do it. I can't do it. Gotta love a lot of videos, my friends. Okay, what do we need to do? You're doing it right now. You're doing it right now. Isn't that funny how that happens? Five more. Four. And I am gonna have, I'm gonna hold on to these handles while I do it. One, two, three. Body weight and heels every time you touch down. Six, seven, eight. Fourteen, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now I'm gonna put on that heavier resistance because the last round was not enough. Okay, we're gonna start straight from this angle. Feet out. Push those knees out. We're pulsing. Four, six, eight, ten more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold the knees up, four, five, Ooh. eight, nine, ten more, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, walk it out. Right into the thrusters. Squeeze. Two, three, 
four, five. If you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you can do it. The exact same thing. Squeeze it up. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Right in those jump squats. One, two, three. Make sure there's tension. Seven. Ten. Ten more. Eight. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! All right. Grab that band right above your knees. Hopping up. 
off that same foot. Touching the ground if you can. If you can't, just hop it up, touch it down. 15 of these. Six, seven, eight, nine, five more strong, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk it out, shake it out. All right, other side. All right, you're not allowed to flip out. You need to ask for help. Do you need help? You do need help, okay. Let me move this bench. Time out, people. Go ahead and just 
just grip it right here. I need to clean my floors. All right. Now I got some room.
Uh, Kristen said, good job, P. Giving you some love. I love it, I love it. Okay, band. Where is my band? All right. I'm gonna put this band back on. And we are going to do a set on the floor. See if I need to reposition. I'm gonna reposition you all. You can see me from this angle.
10, 10 more. Six. 